Hi there. Okay, the next thing we'll look at is some details working with DPI, etc. Um, I'm going to read a bit of it and then I'm going to leave the rest up to you because I think I need to. Okay, so um, working with working without the notion of DPI. Basically, dots per inch is all about um, doing things for printed, uh, and since we're using a animation program to make for television. Don't really, it doesn't really play into it um, that you use DPI. Although you can do DPI with this program because you could be doing stills. So it sort of is and isn't in here. So let me just read for you for a bit of it, um, and then we'll move on. So you may already. I'm just going to read from the manual. We're on page 16 of lesson one, by the way. If you're reading through uh, the TV Paint manual. Right, you may already be used to the notion of DPI dots per inch. The DPI is a pixel density unit unit often used in imaging and printing software packages. The higher the DPI value of an image, the more pixels it contains and the sharper image the sharper the image will be. In the animation field the measurement used is the pixel. Uh, the notion of pixels is more practical as it adapts to the to the specifics of both metric and non metric systems. For example, the European PAL format um, used for resolution of 720 pixels in width by 576 pixels in height whereas the American NTSC format uses a resolution of 720 pixels in width and 486 pixels in height. The global size of your animation in centimeters, meters, inches etc depends entirely on the TV or cinema screen uh, used to view them or views to be projected with them. Um, the notion of the pixel aspect ratio. The pixel aspect ratio is the multiplication coefficient which, the, which links the pixel width to the pixel height depending on the video formats. Uh, the pixels may be, be square or slightly rectangular. The, square, the, the, the pixel aspect ratio has a value of 1.067 for PAL format and a value of 0 0.9 for NTSC format. If you're doing HD then it's square pixels. So if you're doing HD square pixels, if you're doing it for um, computer display it's square pixels. If you're going to do it for television, broadcast television, um, well there's several things you could be doing. I know that um, most TV stations now are running off HD so it will be square pixels again. Although, if you're going to just going to go for widescreen DVD uh, distri distribution or, or, or uh, distribution via um, broadcast television, uh, which is not going to be HD, then yeah, you will be using these um, ratios of 1.067 for PAL and 0 0.9 for the American format NTSC. If you're trying to remember NTS NTSC as a format, um, just remember never the same colour read between the lines on that one um, well it used to be like that I think they've got a bit better now but mm, there you go the other thing to bear in mind is um, video fields uh, video fields are when you're using a uh, a television to view your um, view your output um, the field order is uh, one or the other and how, how it works is the field order is um, it draws every other line and then scans through again and draws the other lines and it does it so quickly you, you can't actually see the difference on it um, the only thing you really want to know is the following um, let me just read this bit normally the video image is composed of two fields which uh, alternate at a speed which is too fast for the human eye to see these fields are referred as upper fields and lower fields a field is a vertical half resolution image which contains every other line of the image interlacing uh, these fields is linked with the PAL, CCAM and NTSC st standards the PAL and CCAM the upper field order is first whereas in NTSC the lower field order appears first I think in DV if you're using uh, digital video, I think it's um, I think it's lower first in DV. Need to check on that, and then it goes through and adds a bit more. I think we'll we'll call that it at this point because uh, I don't have the display up to show you that field order, um, and that that's that's <laughs> we've completed lesson one how cool is that right um, we'll actually get to do something in lesson two but look because lesson two will be how to handle various brushes
and various things. Drawing Basics is going to be called. So um, I'll see you for lesson two. Uh, catch you. Bye. <laughs>